around your bedroom. What do you see in it? Does it have posters? Pictures of your friends and family on the wall? Is it painted with light colors or dark colors? Is it organized or messy? Welcome to set design. Everything I had mentioned are details that can go into a set that can help bring out background aspects of your character as well as bring a mood to a certain type of scene. But first, what is set design? Set design is the overall look of what the setting of where you're trying to film is supposed to look like. But you might be thinking, all these are so elaborate and they cost so much money. How would I do it for my own film? Well, you're in luck. You can. Because there's something called miniature effects or scale models. This is where you build smaller sets, and with the help of camera illusions, it makes it look life-size. One famous example is the Titanic. Sorry to burst your bubble, but they didn't actually film it on a life-size replica of the Titanic. It was actually a 44.5 foot ship built to make it look like the Titanic for the external shots. Now, that's pretty big, but much smaller than the original. But what if you want to build it yourself? Well, let me show you. First thing you need to do is have a concept. For this, we'll be using a house typically made for horror movies. What you'll need is cardboard, popsicle sticks, foliage, paint, a car toy, some glue, construction paper, cotton balls, a picture you can print or just use outside as a background. To start, I put popsicle sticks onto the box to look like siding. I put them very close together so none of the box would be exposed. It's okay if some show, but the goal is to hide as much as you can. The good thing is the foliage will cover up any of the missing spots. It's a lengthy process, but I promise you, in the end, it's totally worth it. Honestly, I think the worst part was waiting for all of the popsicle sticks to dry, just so I can start the other side without any of it sliding off because the glue is wet. Okay, so it's been a couple of days. I put popsicle sticks on both sides, and then I cut up pieces of cardboard um, to make somewhat like shingles. And I know it looks kind of rough, but what we're gonna do now is we're gonna paint the siding of the house brown or like a little bit of grayish just to make it look like it's an old house. So what I did here was I mixed two browns together to get this cinnamony color here and used a little bit of water just to make it more of a watercolor paint. I used a paintbrush almost the size of the popsicle sticks to make things easier with trying to get more precise on paintbrush strokes. If I used a bigger paintbrush, there wouldn't have been enough detail, but using a smaller paintbrush would have taken way too much time. So off camera, I painted it, put the shingles on, I put a door and some windows on, just so it didn't bore you, but now here comes the fun part. The part to make it look dilapidated. So we're gonna take some forestry stuff here and just put it all around the house and to make it look old and outgrown. To add on to more of detail with painting, I used a little bit more darker brown just to give it some more dimension. Even though the foliage didn't smell the greatest, I think it was probably the best part about making the house. It really brought it all together. Alright, so this is the finished product. We have a whole bunch of vines on the roof hanging down the house. We have this grass carpet here. Um, as well as like these little tiny bushes up in here. Oh, this part fell off. but bushes along here just to give it some more pizzazz, make it look like a house. And I know it looks like nothing right now, but when you use a car, do some different angles with it that I'm showing right here. It looks absolutely amazing and you can use it for your miniature set. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you learned a little bit more about set design, especially miniature set design. For more information, visit filmcampforkids.com and check out all the other tutorials we have for you to watch.